Hello everyone. In a previous video, I was talking about the modifications that I'm going to be making for the hub motor on psychotic brake. And this requires that I remove the stator from this bottom mounting piece. So what I want to do in this video is show you how I used a simple 3D printed jig to safely remove this without damaging the stator. So let's go take a look at that. So what we're trying to do is remove this base from the stator. And the biggest problem with doing it is there's really nothing to hold on to on this piece. So we kind of just want to hold on to the outside lip like that. There's just a very slight lip. We don't want to damage any of these windings. We don't want to put any pressure on those. So we just kind of want to hold it like that and then use the arbor press to press out the center. So let's see what the jig looks like. So this is what I came up with for the 3D printed jig. It's two pieces that kind of clamshell together. And on the inside, there's just this little bit of a ridge. I'm using two dowel pins to just kind of locate the two pieces together so they don't kind of slip or anything like that. And then you just sandwich it around the stator and the lip is at the very bottom. So it gives it that surface to press against. And then I have these kind of little wings on the outside and those wings use some screws and some embedded nuts and that just kind of holds the whole assembly together. So maybe a little bit overkill, but it's actually pretty simple. It's just a couple screws, a couple dowel pins and a couple of 3D printed parts. The other beautiful thing about this is I made the inside diameter just a little bit smaller. So when you screw this whole thing together, it's kind of squishing against the side of the stator for a little bit of extra, I don't know, friction or something. It's holding onto it tightly along the outside as well as that bottom lip. So when you press this through, hopefully it will hold the stator tightly in place. So now it's time to bring everything over to the trusty arbor press. If you don't have an arbor press yet, you should definitely look at getting one. There are 50, 60 bucks, and you can get one at Harbor Freight pretty readily, or you can look on Craigslist or something like that. I typically use sockets a lot for pressing stuff like this through. I'm just using a couple one, two, three blocks to space everything up. And then, yeah, just sit there and um, press down on the handle, press on the socket, and it should press the center out. Of course, I used a socket that is a little bit too large in diameter, so it kind of wedged itself in there. So I just had to go get another appropriately sized socket, something that fit a little bit better. And now that I have the appropriately sized socket, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just pressing it through. The one thing that I did forget about is the wires kind of go through that bottom mounting piece. So the wires are actually keeping it from just freely falling down. So I should have thought about that. You should have thread the wires through first but everything was perfectly fine. The base just slips right off and we are left with our stator that we can just unbolt this assembly and we're good to go. On this particular motor, there was a lot of epoxy that kind of seeped out on the bottom and um, I had to kind of chip that off and get that away because that's going to interfere with the new mount that I'm going to be designing and pressing into that spot. So we just kind of need to clean this up use the various tools, whatever you have at your disposal, just to kind of chip away at that epoxy while making sure that you don't do any damage to the actual windings. And there it is. We now have the stator completely removed. Um, no wear, no damage. Um, didn't press on anything that we weren't supposed to be pressing on. As far as the um, little 3D printed jig, everything looks good. It held up just fine. This will be perfectly fine for all the other motors that I'm going to be doing. Keep in mind, you're probably not going to want to use this method for any large motors. I don't think this lip could really handle it, but for this size of motor, it turned out perfectly fine. And uh, these were only printed at, I think, 15 or 20% infill, whatever the um, standard infill percentage was, and it held up just fine. There was a little bit of bowing, but um, that lip has no damage to it whatsoever. So pretty simple and easy. Hopefully you got something out of this video. As always, check me out on Facebook for any updates to my channel. I'll be probably doing more um, combat robot videos coming up. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.